Yeah, okay, so here we go again. Uh, I got the engine running, but I'm mic'd up, so that should work out, I guess. The reason I got the engine on is because I'm also using the inbuilt dome light. Well, it's not really a dome, but I believe it's still called one anyways. Um, had my internship today. As per usual, it's Tuesday. And I um, maintained all the auto poles slash pole cats we have, which is like... Uh, basically um, compression mounting things so if you have two sturdy walls opposed to each other you can put one of them in between and mount things to them mm. clean them all lube them all like it's busy work and I like doing busy work I'm good at finding it like first thing I did today was unstack the sandbags from one um, cage take them all out and put them back in again neat and tidy because someone had men managed to mess them up over the week I was ill so that worked out I guess the drink of the day is milk um, reason is I was grocery shopping today before I went to my internship which is a first time thing I've been doing but um, first time done this but I quite like the idea of it just because it leave me all of the evening for other things um, Today I'm actually doing some socialisation. Uh, uh, um, going to a meetup I used to frequent before they moved, uh, because end of last year the pub shut down, which is now what um, 44 days ago. The pub shut down, and I was I was last there like 80 days ago, and it'll be my first time at the new joint. I guess I'll find out how that works. Mm. Thing is, obviously, with the internship, I kind of got a tough time doing social appointments during the week, just because nine to six is kind of late, and then getting anywhere is going to take another hour. Ironically enough, this one here is close enough to work. I have time to kill, so here I am. Here we are. Ah. Uh, um, my drive been kind of meh. Um, internal drive that is not vehicular driving but um, motivational um, I do still really want to make that kind of short but it's going to require some messing around with cameras in semi-public places where one can see time pass um, and I don't really like having the camera on a tripod with no one watching it so I'll have to find someone to tag along That'll be an interesting one, but might as well. And I guess the good news is with focus, one don't need to worry about um, other people and their faces because if you've got enough bokeh, no other faces will be visible. I do plan on shooting this without a permit because it's purely a student thing. And like a one man crew, one and a half. I need someone else to watch a camera, but then again, I'm also talent not crew, so man. Um, optimally, I just find some bridges somewhere and do it from on top of those. But yeah, that would also make posts way easier. I just realised. Um, I managed to get into a parking spot here, vehicular driving, that is way too tight for most cars. And most certainly for this car, yeah, I managed to get in where both cars next to me can get into their driver's side doors. And I can get out again rather easily without hitting anything. Admittedly, it was less than an inch on both sides to get in, and it will be to get out, but should work. I mean, why not, you know? It's a fun challenge. And um, because I did actually manage to fix my mirror, my driver's side mirror after it had been rammed just before Christmas, um... I now have a brand spanking new mirror, which means it hasn't been cleaned, hasn't been dirtied. I only installed it yesterday. I was fairly proud of that because it took me about 55 euro worth of materials. Like the mirror cost 52.19. And um, some plastic door clips for the door card. And that's all it took me. And about an hour of my time. I did my lunch break, basically. Mm. I'm very happy that worked out because apparently... If you have them changed, it's a matter of uh, 
mid-range triple digits, lower mid-range triple digits, which is a lot of money, and I ain't got that kind of money to spend on really something cosmetic. I mean, the old one still worked. I just had it all taped up. Because, surprise, um, if someone ran your mirror going about 40 kph quicker than you, um, more than 10 meters a second quicker than you, it's not too good for either of the two mirrors. Uh, I mean, they lost their mirror completely. I'm sure I told this before, like sometime around Christmas-ish. But um, I didn't lose my glass, but my plastic cover was completely meffed. And I didn't like that, so I managed to replace it. That's something. First time ever replacing mirror. Went uneventful. Happy to have a brand spanking new mirror. Like... I like this car, it's my biggest hobby by a far. Ooh, that's poetry. Um, and things like the mirror are things I trust myself to do, no issues, and I'd have all the tools I need for. The next thing I'll be taking on is going to be another interesting bit, though. That is, I'll end up trying to um, fix a bit of cabling that have gone bad. From the particulate filter sensor. Diesel particulate pressure differential sensor. Diesel particulate filter pressure differential differential sensor. There we go. That's at least the germ literally translated, which doesn't really work that way, but still, it's a long fucking word. Um, just one of the wisest foul. I know which one. Like, I paid a workshop to have a look at it because I don't have a lift. And I suspected it to actually be the particulate filter, which you need a lift to look at for. So I was happy about that news when I got on. I'm sure I also talked about this before. Um, now the matter is trying to figure out where the wire is bad, because I'm sure there's several connectors between the initial one and the ECU. And then fixing that. That's going to be my next challenge. I suspect the only tool I should need is a multimeter or even maybe just a continuity tester. Multimeter I have on board at this time, currently permanently, semi-permanently, even though really live in the flat. And a continuity test I could even use the one at work, so that's something, you know. It's going to be a fun one to figure out the pins on the connectors, but I'm hoping I can just leave those and just replace most of the wire beside the bit leading up to the connector. Obviously, I'll have to find out by testing for continuity. Uh slash resistance assuming it's not an open circuit there is resistance so that works with going shopping for groceries before going to work today i actually went to not my regular supermarket which isn't a very unautistic thing for me to be doing um i managed i went too busy i didn't like it I probably wouldn't like it again, but my regular supermarket is kind of out of the way for on the way to work. Like, it's the wrong direction and realistically it's too close to my home. Because I still got to drive to work after and I'd rather have the variability before I go shopping. That way I don't got to worry. Um, they have some stuff I really like. Like, I got some fancy milk. I mean, it's what... 120% of the price of the milk I usually get. And the bottles do have deposit on them instead of the Tetra Pak card cardboard boxes. But the deposit don't matter. I'm getting that back. And I think they're actually worth 120% of the money. Ooh, worth bringing me to another interesting point. Um, I bought myself some hand soap, some B Propolis hand soap. Smell nice, taste nice and all. And I used it to wash my hair on Sunday night. Um, and I got curls because I've been getting my hair wet. Um, and I'm considering using that as my main soap for all things body related. Particularly the hair though and the hands. The only thing is it's not too cheap. Like a uh, litre bottle costs 17 euros I believe if I buy in bulk they might give me 15 euros or so and i suspect a liter would last me more than a month but still feel like a lot to spend on soap then again i smoke 
which is irresponsible admittedly, but I'm human, only human after all. Um, and it feel odd to spend that kind of money. I asked my sister for what she spent on hair care in a monthly basis. And it appears I'd be spending about double. And I guess my sister is about a normal person with her spendings on hair care. Like, if you don't do nothing extraordinary. I think her hair is shorter than mine. I'm not sure, though. I haven't seen her in a while. <laughs> um, it feel a bit off. Like, I'd be spending more than double the money per time period. But I really like the scent of it. Surprise, it's bee wax smell. Because it's got bee wax in it. Um and propolis so I guess that might also just have a very similar smell um it do smell similar at least um oddly enough the ingredients are most mostly the same as any other hand soap you can buy it's just a few things but those few things are bee related which means it's hella expensive because bees don't scale well uh and i suspect they aren't south american bees like at least in South America, I suspect those bees are actually like at least on this continent. I just dropped my piece of blue tech. That's not very pleasant. Oh no! Uh, let me see if I can find it. Just my fidgeting toy. Yes, I can find it. Urgh! There we go. Piece of blue tack. Just to fidget with, so my fingers busy. <gasps> mm. I still think I'm suffering from overcommitment issues, but I am considering offering a friend uh, more assistance, and I've certainly lost the mic by now, I bet you. Fuck me. Um, we'll find out. We'll just keep going anyways. Nah. We'll cut this here. I, I might just be talking and not being heard right now. Probably this light's been flashing since forever, and that probably means I don't have a connection. Let me find out. Turns out the mic had been working, um, it's just I don't want the technical difficulty. So I've gone back to the old school me method, because, great, I mean, it's a nice gadget if it worked, but if it don't, it's not really worth the hassle, particularly considering this is better than nothing, I hope. Like, you'll probably notice a drop in quality, we'll find out. Um, and it don't prevent me from getting into a flow state, other than a mic that might stop working. Yay. Uh, my smoking behaviour have been back to normal since yesterday, which I, I guess I'm glad to say, because though I fully acknowledge I will one day want to stop smoking, that day has yet to come, and that means currently smoking is primarily an indicator of my state of health, in, which ca in this case it's a good indicator because I'm back to normal, and I don't feel all too sick anymore either, like I still have a bit of runny nose sometimes. But beside that, it's not bad. Um, which is surprising to me, considering how I was on Friday last week still. Like, kind of nuts, but I'll take the win if I can get it, you know. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this meetup just to see some people. I might even hug, even though I'm recovering from nil, from a sick... I don't think I'm sick enough no more to not hug. So I'll just hug. Might as well, you know. A Chrysler Voyager Mark V has just come and is now pulling into a par into parking right opposite me. I'm telling him, no, I'm not going. Um, he, he had high hopes, but... I had to disappoint them. Um, yeah. I'm sorry for this. This will be a very unsatisfying conclusion. But I, I'm not in the mental space for this right now. I guess I'll continue when I next go grocery shopping. Not before work. Uh, stay safe. Hope you manage to keep focus better than I do. Cheerio.